Okay, this will be the beginning of our second session or section. And what I've done is I've uh, put in here the um, the project as it was at the end of uh, the last section, so you can uh, find that. And I'll do the same thing at the end of uh, this session as well. So let's go and uh, continue where we left off. And uh, that file is opening right now. All right, so here it is. And uh, this is right where we left off. Look, we still have our output messages in there. All right, so let's jump over here to our uh, level file. And uh, one thing we didn't actually get to last session was um, was putting in any of the uh, the property list info. And uh, you know, it's um, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. So I thought it'd be a little bit more fun to uh, lead off with um, the uh, the physics stuff, give you a little hint of that. But uh, yeah, now it's about time to actually uh, get some of this. Uh, uh, property list data in there so uh, we don't have much and uh, of course we'll be adding uh, quite a lot in here but uh, let's just uh, let's just deal with uh, what we have for right now so we'll go and um, put that into our setup scene method and let's uh, start over here at the top alright we're gonna put in ns string this be a path equals uh, do two brackets here ns uh, bundle and our main bundle so that just means um, our main bundle is this stuff right over here those resources uh, and that's going to be our bundle path right there so again it's just all going back to finding things that you've put inside of your main bundle and then we're gonna create another ns string Final path equals path string by appending path component and put in here game data dot plist and then finally we're gonna set up our, an ns dictionary. This will be our plist uh, data and this is gonna equal ns dictionary dictionary with contents of that particular file and then we just put in here the um, the path to the final so it'll be a final path all right so all that is going to give us um, our property list and you know what we could do let's just uh, paste in a quick little line here and um, <laughs> ns log there it is This uh, this should spit out for us all of the uh, the property list data in the output window. By the way, that I had to laugh at myself. I, what I did is I copied in a, a note from uh, one of my other projects I was working with, and it's <laughs> had a CC log statement, which is a Cocos 2D thing. All right, and of course the simulator is being slow as usual. Simulator is the worst possible test device. Everything runs faster on your device. Always remember that. And um, of course, the next thing we're going to do here is parse through the, the data inside of the actual um, NS dictionary. But uh, let's scroll up here. All right, so you can see uh, the property list contains, and then it says levels. All right, so there's our uh, root, and then background equals level map one, and then characters. Uh, and then, of course, here's our base frame uh, character right there. So now we need to make sense of all that. And um, first thing we'll do is, uh, well, we don't need this statement anymore. Let's come down here and write ns. Um, you know, I have mutable array in, in from my uh, previous code, and we could probably get away with just a um, an array. But um, since I don't really feel like Introducing a possible error. I'll just leave that as a mutable array, but a mutable array means that it, it can be changed over time. Whereas um, if you just have an ns array, it's uh, it's kind of going to be kind of what it is without um, the option to uh, change it later. So we'll leave it as a mutable array. I think all this is going to get cleaned up for us anyway. It's not going to stick it, stay into. Um, it's like a stick around is what I'm the point I'm making because we're kind of setting this all up in a locally inside of this method and I'm not holding on to or retaining anything um, 
over here in my interface uh, yet. Uh, some of this data we will hold on to, but um, um, not this stuff. All right, so uh, we're going to put in here array with array, and then we uh, put plist data, object for key, and this is going to be our levels. And keep in mind, right now we only have uh, one level in there, so uh, there's not much to that. And then I'm going to write ns dictionary and level dict equals ns dictionary dictionary. Uh, this time around, it is going to be dictionary with dictionary, and we're going to put in. Uh, level array object at index and let me get this out of the way just so we can see it all right uh, well the first level is, is obviously going to be the object at index zero right but um, by hard coding in zero there that means that uh, we can't just reload the same uh, level and pull up a, a different, or I should say the same level class and pull up a different level. So what we're gonna wanna do is um, put in here current level, right, and make that a uh, declared variable up here. So uh, scroll up to the top of the file and write int current level. And just for right now, um, what we could do is uh, inside of our init statement, just put current level equals zero. But let's put a little note that says later on, because we're still hard coding in <laughs> zero now, uh, later on we will um, create a singleton or something to um, hold game data that uh, is independent of this class. Okay. So basically just a, a, a class separate from the level uh, that is um, not going to change every time this level class reloads. And that could hold on to variables like what the current level is. All right, so for right now, that's just um, that's obviously just going to be 0. And next thing we're going to write here is going to be ns array character array equals. And now, I guess this time around I decided to go with an NS array. But uh, there you go, a little extra bang for your buck. You get to see an, a mutable array and an NS array at the same time, <laughs> right within three lines of each other. All right, so, or one line of each other. We're going to put in here level dict and then object for key. And this is going to be now our characters. OK. Uh, this is just telling me that it's an unused variable, um, but uh, what I'm going to do is actually copy this, come up here to the top, put that over here, and uh, now I'm uh, I'm not only declaring this for other methods to access, but it's going to hold on to this. Uh, it's going to retain uh, this data for me. So even outside of this particular method here. It's going to realize that, hey, you know what, that um, that character array, it's it's going to get used somewhere else. So um, don't wipe it out from memory. Don't uh, garbage collect it, essentially. And um, the level data here, I'm not going to save all of this, all right? Because some of it I'm going to use kind of like right away. Uh, and other bits of it I'm going to kind of, well, I'm just going to be choosy about what, what things I want to um, keep around for later. And uh, one example would be uh, the, if you guys remember when I showed you the, in the introduction, the, the follow delay, all right, that, um, which was at a 0.25 or a quarter of a second. Uh, numbers like that I'm going to want to hold on to. Uh, but I'll, again, I'll be specific. I'll, I'll say, all right, you know what, I'm going to set up a follow delay float number and I'll make that uh, the data equal to that variable right away and then um, that just keeps me from having to save all of the um, the level data but with the the characters uh, I do kind of need to go back and forth occasionally and access um, the uh, the array or each members um, information 
and uh, I'll kind of explain a little bit of that later on. But uh, just know for right now that we are going to be holding on to this array, and uh, let's uh, keep moving forward here. Oops, it's not, not what I wanted you to see. <laughs> All right, so going back, uh, now we are going to um, – Let's at least test this out to make sure that we do have the uh, character right here. And these are all just objects, so we can put in here percentage and then that add symbol, and uh, it'll spit back out the information. And sure enough, all right, this time it um, it did give me that. Sorry, you're seeing a kind of mini version of the output window here. All right, so now it's just uh, telling me base frame equals a uh, character. All right, good sign. So now that we've got that, let's skip on down to our setup characters method. And what I want to do is pass in that info to uh, that particular character. Uh, right now we've only got one, obviously. And uh, this is going to look something like this leader create with dictionary and then I'm going to put in here character array object at index uh, zero and uh, close that off we're going to get a warning right here because it has no idea what uh, create with dictionary is my CS character class uh, doesn't have that uh, declared as a, a method. Doesn't have anything, even has a, doesn't even have it as a method yet. But uh, that's what we're going to put in. Uh, before I step over there, though, I do just want to point out that again we're hard coding in here uh, zero. But in this case, it's actually all right because um, my leader is always going to be that first one that is defined in the list by default. That's just by default. We'll be able to swap leaders around later on. But when we first run this uh, level, it's okay. Uh, to put in here zero uh, in this case. Later on when we create um, more characters of course we're gonna just basically keep track of um, what number character we're creating uh, in the list and you know like so the next time around we do this would be object at index one, index two, you know if you had three characters uh, but for right now that is okay and uh, what I want to do then is uh, go over to my uh, header file and just gonna write in here void create with dictionary and the parameter that we're passing in here is of course gonna be a dictionary type so we just write in ns dictionary do a little star after that and uh, just so there we go I was about to say just just so I keep things with the the same names as my previous project. I'm going to put in here car data, so it's character data, just to shorten it up a little bit. And the reason I'm getting an error here would be, well, let's see. Uh, probably just because I haven't defined this in the, um, I haven't written this in the class yet. So we're just going to copy that line right there. And then this time around, do our opening and closing brackets. And, oh, well, oh, obviously here. <laughs> Put your end statement after that. All right, uh, now I should definitely not be seeing a, what? okay, now everything is kind of slowly figuring out. All right, all right, you're doing it right. So let's uh, let's go back over here to the uh, the character, and uh, what I'm going to do now is take what we previously wrote in the init statement and put it into this um, create with dictionary. All right, I can still do some initialization inside of here, uh, and I, and I will for um, some variables, but the, now the bulk of everything is going to ha only happen once we've called create with dictionary. So let's take all this and put it inside of here and this log statement really doesn't need to be in here at all now but um, it would, when you think about it it would be a little bit more appropriate if it was right there too um, and then 
this we're, we can again we can just leave it in here for right now eventually I'm going to move this out into its own method um, because we might not necessarily set up a, a physics body anyway so we'll, we'll run an if statement um, based on the um, the data the car data here and um, uh, yeah so we'll reserve that uh, in a, its own method but let me step one more time back over here and just show you guys that um, we're running this first running that second and then we're finally adding the child um, inside of uh, or the leader inside of uh, my world right here so a lot of stuff is gonna happen uh, prior to this actually getting called okay before him actually getting added inside of there and um, you know as you can kinda guess <laughs> this w create with dictionary statement is gonna call multiple methods outside of here and stuff like that so um, just keep in mind, in, in the grand scheme of things, you know, prior to the, him actually getting added, uh, a lot goes on. All right, so uh, now I think we can actually go and um, use this uh, character data that has gotten passed in, and we uh, we want to put in the base frame instead of typing in here character. So um, we'll put in. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I'm sorry. Let me back up one step. Let's come all the way up to the top of the file and declare an NS dictionary. I'm going to call this character data. And then come back down here. All right, character data is now going to equal. NS dictionary and dictionary with dictionary and then we're just going to put in our car data there all right um, so from here on out uh, it, it it'll just make more sense to just use this character data which is um, being retained it's uh, now one of our properties up here and um, we'll be able to access th the character data inside of the property list and any other methods uh, inside of this class. All right. So you can kind of forget about now this, this car data right here. And now let's go in and write character data, object for key, base frame. Do one more bracket out that way. And if everything is working as planned if we were to run this right now hopefully we'd be seeing the exact same thing okay because that base frame is set to character what it was before and uh, sure enough there's our little guy and uh, things do appear to be working all right so good job uh, one thing we should check to is let's go over here and uh, replace out the uh, the level map with uh, its corresponding item. Uh, so here it's going to be uh, level dict object for key, and I believe we called that uh, background, right? Okay, and uh, hopefully we still see our background after this. I already am seeing it. There's that grid. All right, so that's a good sign. So now I think what we should do is, uh, in a separate video, we'll come back and talk about um, setting up some of the, or defining the uh, actual physics borders and showing them, which is very important um, for uh, just kind of testing later on. So we'll put in those properties, and uh, that'll probably cover at least uh, one full video, and we'll do that for both the uh, the background and uh, the uh, the character.